Hey, you guys, welcome. Today, my husband's going to be building me a raised bed, another raised bed, because mine broke. Womp, womp. We had already built one for my watermelon garden, but he's going to build it different today. So let's do this. This is the approximate cost as of 2023, but lumber prices vary and fluctuate everywhere. If you want to build this five by one and a half foot bed with hardware, check out our other video in the link here above. First, he's marking the tapered end sides of the six foot cedar panels so he could cut it straight with the jigsaw. Do this for three of the panels. Next, measure and mark the halfway point of those three planks, which after cutting the tapered ends turns out to be half inch shy of three feet. So you'll end up with six 35 and a half inch pieces. And in order to mark a straight line, he uses that blue rafter square triangular ruler. But if you don't have one, no worries. Just mark a dash at both ends of the plank and connect the straight line with the regular ruler. I want my raised bed to be 16 and a half inches high. So now he's measuring and cutting six panels at four feet as we need three on each side. But if you want your bed to be longer or shorter, just cut accordingly. Next, he's measuring how long to cut the two by twos because we want an inch and a half to come out from the bottom of the bed. So he cuts it at 17 inches and he cuts six pieces. That inch and a half will be dug into the ground and the bed will be more stable. Plus, we live in the desert, so I'm not worried about them rotting out too fast. Cedar is pretty resistant to decaying quickly anyway. If you're using a different type of wood, you can opt out of putting that inch and a half into the ground. Now he's connecting the 2x2s to the 4 foot planks, making sure they're aligned straight. And leave an inch from the top and the inch and a half from the bottom. Next, grab your screws and a drill bit smaller than your screws. And we have all these tools handy already, but if you don't, ask your friends and neighbors and maybe you could borrow theirs. That way you don't have to buy any extra stuff. Next, he's going to drill in pilot holes with the drill bit. And drilling pilot holes first prevents wood from splitting and it makes it easier to drill in the screws as well. He's adding another 2x2 two two to the center of the 4 foot planks and you'll see how we connect that later so that your wood doesn't start bowing in the future. This is what it ends up looking like and now we do it again for the other 4 foot panels. Same process, same order, rinse and repeat. Now that you have the two four foot sides connected to the two by twos, we're going to connect the three foot sides and I'm just holding this for him while he connects the initial top part. The bed is upside down right now. Don't forget to drill your pilot holes first and then those screws. And he's just about done. You could leave the bed like this if you'd like, but he's going to be putting the centerpiece of 2x2 two two and connecting it to the middle 2x2s two with the screw so that in the future the wood doesn't start bowing. Make sure you use a drill bit and a screw long enough to go through the plank and the two 2x2s. Two
and that's it he's done to be honest this took exactly one and a half hours i timed it for y'all because this actually didn't take six minutes like the video did <laughs> and now that he's done all he's doing is digging out a bit a bit of the dirt so that the legs can be snug in there and that'll hold the bed in place Now all you have to do is lasagna layer your raised bed. If you don't know how to do that, check out another video of mine or other gardener videos on how to fill up those raised beds more economically. And plant your seeds. If you did this in your garden, let us know. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if we helped you in any way. Thanks for watching.